good evening guys it's a 4 48 p.m today is uh, monday and so let's start with uh, november 14th 2022 so let's start with uh, pre-market note so this is a bigger statement okay so till tomorrow end of day you want to see this right anything other than that sellers could be active back in business okay now I am keeping the story simple as well. So today's max is also 4,002 for 4,055 or so, right? One of them. And you, these are the levels, right? Uh, the max potential. And during intraday, when ES went to 4,016, NQ went to 900, you know, I typed in Discord that this could be the max for the day, right? And after I typed it in few minutes, uh, you can see the sell off, right? So, but anyway, we were not supposed to short above Globex high, but at late in the day, but you know, when there is a max potential reached, you know, then you know, either price is going to chop or go opposite, you know, two ways, but it doesn't mean we have to trade it. So, you are allowed to trade both ways today and see, right, right timing, right? I, I, open, I opened it up for both ways. So, one reaction is short as long as it is below globex high and one reactionary law anywhere as as long as it is above friday's low so basically i'm saying above friday's low you can take long anywhere at levels or you can also do shorts if you want to below globex high as long as price is staying below you know that was the story today and then these are the dream numbers right so let's go here so dream number right so this dream number held it of the open pretty much right so after few minutes you know it basically rejected the price couple of times right and then it was a game about our hunting levels and dream number back and forth back and forth back and forth which is this area right but of the open yes went higher while nq was going down you know, that was a disconnect while dow was going higher russell was going down so nq and russell teamed up of the open dow and es teamed up right so now we have an intraday index divergences correct so we didn't take any trade here yes you know i took like few trades here correct all of them gave me few points right in my favor but you know there is no real trading right as i was explaining while i, I took those trades i explain you why i took those trade in this call right but they were all scalping kind like 10 points 5 points 20 points 15 points you know something like that right so the those were the trades here and again of course you know see here there was a dream number short see that nq lining up with vweb lining up with our dream number right so there was a trade here if you want to short right below globex high you can short right so shorts were there you know but only because dow and es was going higher you know it was risky to short but levels are good see it depends on your process you know how you want to follow it your process so anyway there is no trade here but since it was morning you know come down you know overall is short term buyers are still active right long you can take anywhere right and it's a safer way so i took this long here at 734 you know and then i build out here somewhere so those are the longs i took it you know back and forth uh in the morning and then you can see price came down here 704 while well, ES came down to where globex low correct aggressive buyers area and th this was NQ's preferred buyers area this area correct so and we watched 745 which was a globex low correct and then we uh, I took a short at 745 bailout at 734 all this thing I did couple of like three four trades I did it here right the goal was if price goes above 745 then in then you know buyers are in control right so at this point you know we know that buyers are in control correct then we were observing our hunting level so which is this correct so this was the long here right here you know, right here i think a couple of you guys took it i think i know you one took it right so here i took the long right and then i built out here somewhere that was my last trade right because i didn't like the way price you know uh, getting rejection here a couple of times right so every time it try to break out like this immediately gets rejection again here break out rejection see that so after taking this trade just because level was important either i took a trade either here or here somewhere you know 
I even forget. But anyway, you guys know in this code. So I took these trades and then I was done, right? So and then I stopped trading because now it's it's not tradable price action. If you look at it, this whatever the story happened here, right? It's like both parties are acting. You know, any breakout immediately gets rejection. Breakout rejection. See that? And ES had so many rejection by the time from this uh, 4000 area. It was a preferred seller's area too, right? So, but then we are not supposed to take short above this global high. Right? So there is no short here. But if you are long, you can take a profit, right? So let's say if you went long here at aggressive buyers area, right? Considering that this could be the field breakdown, right? So here above 84, you can go long about this line, you know? But then you have to bail out here, right? So, and then ES was holding it here, see that? And NQ was also holding this. But then there was no like upward juice and internals were negative. See, there, even here you can see when price was going higher, AD was diverging, see that? And they were negative too, this one. So, so that was the issue here, right? So that's why there is no trade, technically. So all these trades are like, you know, like scalping kind. No, they are not like a great trades right and and it was difficult to even trade here because price was unable to hold it above 4000 right so yes there is no trade even though price came down here bounce you know there is no trade here it's a garbage you can see it is a mess here right same thing nq also mess right so you cannot trade both you have to trade only one either at the yes you can trade always at the level right that but stop here to manage it right so you can go long here also but not here, not here, right? Then you have to wait for this range to be cleared up. The morning first hour high, you know, basically. And then here it broke out, right? But again, any breakout fails it, correct? So here, as usual, see here, uh, what time was it? 12.40, see I was not observing at that time, but let's see, right here, see that? So 12.40 it broke out, right? So now you can see it, NQ broke out about this red line, in this entire area see that and then here already this area responded one time correct and then here you can see the hunting level worked out very well correct then it bounced from it and then one two three four correct but it couldn't close nicely above it then again came back to dream uh, hunting level right and then again broke out again broke out see this time there is no fail breakout here see that all this time slide up down here up slide down and up so this was the sign and by the time if you look at it es was already above this area correct so then when pullback happened see the morning chop here there were a lot of sellers here they got trapped so here you can flip this area and go long if you are trading at that point in time you know then in that case most likely it will go to 4016 because that is what i said the max potential right or maybe friday's high but it was already reached here correct so if now if you are taking long here, you are assuming that it will go through it because NQ was yet to take this high from Friday, backup seller area, correct? So NQ can go from here to here at least. So based on that idea, you can go long here, you know, uh, and then bail out here, right there, you know. Then you don't want to trade after that because the max potential reached already, right? Whatever the bonus, you are not here for bonus, correct? By the time it was already like 130 or so. And then once the max potential is reached, then you want to see how price handles it, right? So here it tried to, you know, go higher, 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 hold it. But then here broke below it. Again try hard, broke below it. And then again broke below it. See, this was the sign that sellers could be in, you know, around this 252, which is right here. See that? So price should not have come down below Friday's, Friday's high. So the moment it came down here, that was the sign. Something is off, you know, around 14.50. And by the time, if you see, it started tanking down. See that? So that was the sign that uh, that maybe some sellers are trying hard. And then when, when you see this push again from this area, see, again, we are not going to take long here, right? But if this area breaks below it, this was also intraday line in sand, which I gave you around here. So once it's broken down, right, and then pop back up, again down you can short here right here with the flow you know if you want it at the same time cnq right 
but there was no trade actually you know just to be honest even though it went down 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 however there was one trade at the closing you know right below break below this you can go with the flow target 57 if he is bounce here you bail out with few points you know but nq there was no trade you know, just to be honest you know there was no trade here you can short if you want you know relying on this area that it may hold but it's too aggressive you know so but you can short here right here you know, this area you can short and that be all so really i'm not showing you any trade today see except this one and two that's it you know, everything else was garbage so even though this preferred buyers area in nq held it but it was not tradable later in the day you know but the levels held it you know pretty much but the contextually the way what is going on in the day time frame it was it was and with this internals it was not allowing us to go long and hold it you know so there is really nothing today now tomorrow right so today nq held 734 right so tomorrow it better holds above this area you know if it does not it is going to take care of this 704 today's low and go down you know uh, yes, it has to hold below this 84, you know, this line, you know, ideally, in the overnight, and take this area, and then we have to see how it behaves it, you know, uh, and that be all for today.